Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. So, this day is going to be a little bit different. Uh, normally we do an epic matchup and um, I show you guys some, some what not to do and what not to do. So today I think we're just going to sit back and learn. Um, so I'm going to pause before we actually get this battle underway because I do want to actually watch as much as you guys want to watch this game. Um, so this is obviously a Cromwell B and um, a couple of mixed other tanks uh, in a stronghold uh, match versus some other guys. Uh, yes, the other team is more of a heavy uh, team, whereas we're more of a, a faster medium type team um, with a VK3101 P in there summary for some reason. But, you know, to each their own. Um, anyway, so this is buy up. But he told me not to focus on him. Uh, he He's obviously in his Cromwell B along with a bunch of other folks. This is about a, the team as a whole. So I do want to try and be, you know, uh, this isn't a med buy up uh, as much as he might be awesome in this game or might not. I don't really remember. Um, this is about the team as a whole working together and watch what they do. And maybe we'll pick up some stronghold strats or, um, or just, you know, what not to do. Um, and so, I'll, yeah, we're just going to let it roll. Before we get going, though, uh, if you think this deserves an MVP, um, which I think for the second time in a couple of days, I'm going to go with, I think this deserves an MVP. <laughs> uh, if, if, it prom if it does what it promises to do, uh, then it should. And um, if you want more content like this, or you don't like this, um, if you have one more content like this, then subscribe. Uh, and hit the little notification bell. And if you don't like this, then please leave a dislike. That actually helps out quite a lot. Um, and uh, in all things, thank the patrons for they are amazing, and they do allow me to do the MVP program. So this is a bit closer to the Cromwell than I like to be. Um, but obviously, this is just what Biop likes. He's manually zooming in and out versus the entering and exiting sniper mode. I like the, um, I like the fact that he's got, so they've deployed their, their scout over to G1, so he's in that little bush. They have a guy in the middle, and then they have the rest of their tanks up on this hill. So they have the control of this whole side of the map. Um, the enemy is not going to be able to do much on this side of the map without their knowing it. Obviously they have a scout tank in the middle, but the only thing he's going to see is this guy. And he's going to see one little tank in the middle and go, where are they? Um, and so until the rest of them are spotted, <laughs> the enemy has no idea what's going on. I wish I knew if they had, um, if, if they had any of the, um, airdrops and, and stuff like that activated. And reserves, this one. Um, and which ones they did. I like the fact, so that currently they're saying two guys in. No, one guy in scout. Biop is going in scout. The rest of his team is up on the sill, and the other Cromwell is hanging way back. It looks like the VK is about to cross the tracks, is he? No, he's getting set up to shoot. That's what he's doing. Okay, so they're they're just gonna pop Biop up over the tracks, or is Hot Rod gonna go? Apparently, so everybody's getting into the middle. So everybody's getting to a position where they can shoot and then once Slayer comes in looks like probably Biop's gonna go up over this ridge line. Everybody's set. Notice the Cromwell's in the middle that get the first lights as they just start pushing. Or no they didn't actually push in they just ran the ridge. Oh so they scared the <laughs> Type 64 beyond a rock and then the ambush came from this side, and there goes the enemy light tank. That was actually a really, really well-coordinated attack, and one... I don't know if I ever would have thought of that. Um, so, by pushing the Cromwells up over the ridge, and then ha having them immediately pop back down, the enemy light tank ran away, obviously, because it thought there was an attack coming. And it ran right into the weighing grasp of... Wow, we bounced a shot. Interesting. Uh, the weighing grasp of, well, Biop and, and Hot Rod there. 
And so now the rest of the, this is just going to be a turkey shoot because they have no eyes now. With the Rudy and the, the Type 64 dead, there's not much these guys behind these bushes can do. And the fact that they're moving around and getting spot every time they move past bushes is not good either. But, um, wow. Okay, so it looks like the Type 64 is going to push in a little bit and try and get some lights. Because, of course, without lights, this whole setup falls to pieces. Um, and, of course, if anybody gets killed, then that would be bad, too. Or... No, I'm wrong again. Looks like this Cromwell wants to push up. Oh, we let something. Never mind. Everybody can hold positions and we're just going to shoot stuff to death. Uh, so the enemy decided it needed to push out and it came out the, the worst possible way. That VK was trying to die, I assume. Because <laughs> there was no other reason for him to be there. Um... There's no way this push would have worked considering all the guns we, they, they I mean, knew were on that ridge line. Um, I'm just going to leave it in this mode, by the way, for, for a while because it's more about the overall battle than any one particular target. So there's three heavy tanks left, and they're all on full health, right? So biops going in, uh, and since we're in this course, I have changed my mind. I want to see what he's looking at. Um, so he scouts the KV-5 and it gets torn to shreds and that there we go so now with vision on the other two those two are just gonna start taking fire from everybody look at that this is one efficient way to, to kill the enemy team um, wow I mean these guys didn't get much return fire in at all that was well done Okay, let's jump over and see what the results were. So, I mean, obviously no medals or anything because this is a stronghold. This is a typical. Um, Biop did uh, not amazing because, I mean, his team, I mean, as a whole, did actually quite a bit of damage. The, with the Type 64 doing the most, I, I didn't guess that. But this is the real thing here. The enemy team... One shot fired. No shots fired. Six shots fired. Three, three, zero, one. They combined for less than 20 damage. Or 20 shots fired. Not a single damaging hit. I mean, I don't even know why he had nine experience over the rest of his team. Is that because he blocked? No, no. Because the A5 had six experience, but he had more damage blocked. He actually went less far. Maybe it's because this guy traveled so far. Uh, it actually might be a combination between shots fired and distance traveled. No, I don't get it. Because this guy traveled farther than this guy and fired more and has less experience. You know, I mean, we're <laughs> it's really weirdly the things that are interesting to me. I understand. Um, the fact is, the enemy team didn't do anything. They got torn to shreds without ever getting effective fire in, in return. And so it doesn't matter whether Biop got 5 damage or 1,000 damage in this game. Uh, the, the fact is that he was part of a team that worked really, really effectively together. So, I think this comes down to if you're ever in this situation as either team, you need to start looking at some things a little differently than normal. Because in any uh, random game, that wouldn't have, that situation would never have occurred. But in a stronghold, that situation occurs all the time. And are you the ones getting packed into a corner and then systematically killed? Because if you are, then you need to do something differently. Whereas, if you're one lining up on that ridge line, are you sending scouts in to die? Because if you are, you know <laughs> now, at least, 
that there are better ways to do it. And so, either way, I mean, this in itself earns an MVP for me. The, the fact that there was not a single damage done to your team means your team worked together so well, they deserve some credit. And, I mean, I can't send... Wait a second. Two, four, six, seven people on the team times that's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If this wins MVP, I'll see about uh, sending everybody some coin. Okay? If this wins M MVP, this is, this is IOE a sworn statement, I will send every every player on it 500 gold. Because um, this is an incredible performance that deserves to be rewarded. And I understand in Wargaming's terms, this doesn't get reward very much. I mean, it's a little tidbits of experience, and I doubt they get many boxes for this. But as a, a, a team thing, this was amazing. And uh, really means a lot to me that, that a team could actually pull this off. And I've never seen it before. And if anyone out there wants to send me a replay where their team does it, I will totally accept it. And uh, I can't guarantee sending uh, 500 gold to a... a uh, entire team more than once, but for one time thing, yeah, I can do it. Um, and again, I mean, maybe I can do it later on too. Depends on a bunch of things. Specifically, how much gold my wife is willing to let me send to random people, but it's not the point. Um, yeah. And that was amazing. Again, this page it's cool to look at, but it doesn't matter in comparison to this. This is the money maker for me. Uh, and this is the page I'm going to leave it on. So thank you very much, Biops, for saying this in. I am so glad I took a look at this. Um, it was a Chrome game that got me interested, and then once I saw everything else about it, I had to see it. Uh, and I'm I'm actually really glad I did. I love the little uh, fake you guys did with the Cromwells. That was pure genius. Please say thank you to anyone, to the guy who thought that move up, uh, to drive the 64 into your guns. That was beautiful. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, tell your teammates about it. If they all vote on it, I'm sure we'll get MVP and they'll all get some gold. <laughs> okay. Um, again, thank you all for watching MVP program, right? Uh, if you didn't like this, please hit the dislike button. I don't know if there's going to be anybody who didn't like it, but. I mean, it was a pretty epic game. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. And last but not least, please thank the patrons who really do support the MVP program. And they are amazing, and they are, and they are pretty epic. And in all things, um, thank you all, and uh, have a great night. This is IOE Throughout.